What does nine months in space do to the human body? It's actually pretty crazy what nine months of no gravitational forces on your body can do to your health. They can actually get taller. They can have a higher risk of cancer. They can lose weight and their vision and can also cause cognitive decline. So I'm gonna briefly explain why all this happens. As you probably know, when you're in space, there is no gravity. I mean, it seems pretty cool. If you do that for nine months, it can have some serious health implications. 70% of astronauts that go into space will have problems with their vision. It's something called spaceflight associated neuroocular syndrome or SANS. And this condition does not happen on planet Earth. Gravity affects all of the way our body fluids circulate, including our blood and our CSF that's inside of our brain. Normally, gravity helps the venous outflow or blood go out of our brain, but in the absence of gravity, you can have an increased venous pressure in the head, and that can lead to elevated intracranial pressure. It can lead to the flattening of the back of your eye, swelling of the optic nerve, and it kind of is similar to something that we do see on this planet called pseudotumor cerebri. You may have heard of it before because I've talked about it. You can even get folds in the back of the retina and that will lead to the vision changes which in some people can be permanent. Although most astronauts' visions returns back to normal once they return to Earth and the gravitational forces. Because of the changes of pressure in the brain, the stress and the lack of sleep can result in cognitive decline in astronauts. Some studies have shown that astronauts in space have slower mental processing and weakened short-term memory while they're in space. Now, the biggest thing we see in astronauts that are in space is muscle atrophy and that their bones can get weaker. And you could really tell how this changed these astronauts over time the longer that they were in space. In fact, both astronauts had to be carried off of the spaceship in wheelchairs because they could not stand. As you probably know, we talk about strength training all the time and how it helps you build muscle mass and bone density. And that's because you lift weights to put pressure on your muscles and bones to help them grow stronger. So if there's no gravity, there's no resistance on your muscles at all. Some astronauts have even said when they've gotten back to Earth, lifting a pencil seemed incredibly hard. That's why astronauts are extremely frail once they get back to Earth. Research has shown that astronauts who spend three to six months in space lose half of their strength. And these guys were in space for nine months. Imagine laying in your bed for nine months without moving your body against any type of resistance at all. And then all of a sudden you have to stand up. You can know why these astronauts were incredibly weak. The crushing weight of the Earth's gravitational forces is what caused them to lead to be stretchered out once they escaped the capsule yesterday. For those of you that watched it, it was heart-wrenching to watch them unable to stand. This loss of bone density can be long-lasting and increase the astronaut's risk of fractures and development of osteoporosis. These astronauts go through extreme rehabilitation once they return to Earth in order to build their strength back up. Now, one thing that we talked about right after they got into space is how gaunt they looked, like very malnourished looking. Because gravity helps you digest and push your food down, if you have no gravity, your digestion isn't the same and they can develop nausea because the food doesn't go down. While in space to prevent both of these things from happening, astronauts typically have a high caloric diet as well as at least two hours of strength training to help prevent some of this. And lastly, astronauts can develop something called chicken feet. Your body has over five liters of water in it. And so you can imagine if you hung upside down that you'll get increased fluid in your face. So if you're in space, that same thing happens where the fluid doesn't get distributed down to your feet. It actually dissipates all over your body and you can get a puffy face and seemingly looking chicken feet because water doesn't settle down in the feet like it does on Earth. So tell me about this increased risk of cancer. One week in space is the equivalent to the same radiation exposure as one year on Earth. And the type of radiation that you're exposed to in space is way more dangerous than the radiation that you see on planet Earth. That can damage their DNA and give them an increased risk of cancer. Because of those fluid shifts, it also affects your cardiovascular health. The heart doesn't have to pump as hard in space because it's not pumping against gravity. So when you return to Earth, it can strain the heart. They're actually more prone to blood clots in space. And there's no gravitational effects on the skin, so the turnover of their skin is less 
and it can wreak havoc on the skin and space. I don't even wanna know what their skin regimen is up there. So I hope that helps explain how gravity affects your body on Earth and in space. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And would you ever wanna to go to space after learning all of this? I think I'm good here on Earth. I'm sending my best thoughts to both astronauts as they get through the recovery process.